Hey guys, we're back. I'm <laughs> just because I have nothing to do besides pack, and I just packed for four straight hours. I'm driving myself crazy, so I need something to, to change the pace a little bit. So we're back, laddering again. Um, you see, I'm pretty close to Rex, so we're gonna go for Rex in this video. Uh, if I get him in six more battles, and we're good. But these also give me the six hardest battles because there were six battles in which I'm highest on ladder, so this is my favorite team right now. One that I did really well with this Mug Tour. Wait and see. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to lead with Jirachi. I'm facing against this Weezing. I personally am going to expect to switch. But also, I don't need Jirachi to check anything. Um, I really don't. Looking at this matchup, for example, um, the best things that they can do would just be beating this Weezing 1v1. But it's going to switch out because Kapowdon beats me. Exodol beats me. Barathorn beats me. Bishop beats me and Dragon beats me. Like, look, so I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trick turn one. He's gonna switch. See, I crippled something and now he no longer has Smooth Rock. And I could give Smooth Rock to something like Ferrothon. So I could triple two things. That's really the best I can do. I'm um, also gonna be able to remove his rocks immediately, which is good. But yeah, I mean, oh, he's gonna go Bishop. Fuck. Um, I'm actually gonna go for a U turn on the Bishop and set up my own rocks, which is even better. Yeah. Okay. Rocks, yeah, perfect. So the day just worked out pretty nicely. Um, I want to see what he's gonna do. I think he's gonna go for Wisp or a Fairy move. He does go for Wisp, right? Oh fuck! This um, this negates my. Oh my god! This is annoying. The face. Let me go Pex here, so at least I could trade Knock for Burn now, and Burn will be helpful against Clefable later on. Does this neutralize regenerator as well? I've got to get make sure I'm healthy if I switch out. Anyway, that's probably a banded or like a life orb drill if I had to guess. So I'm gonna get that knock and I'm gonna go for the burn. I just can't knock in the hippo. That would be really bad. But um yeah, the Drachi's useless. Pex is pretty useful. Tomo can go a long way here. He's gonna drag pull burn would be delightful. No, no burn, no, 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 not quite the luck. Um, he's gonna recover here. I think that he might go for Wisp again for the Commander Buzz. But he might hack into this or, um, the Clef. I'm actually getting a little self so sure why not. Doing a little under half. Okay. Um, I think I'm safe to go Commander Buzz now. Now I'm going to anticipate the Wisp and go Clef. I don't think he's going to U-turn, but he might. I'm just going to go Clef. Yeah, I, I don't want to risk it. He's going to go Pharah, though, which doesn't do me much good, truth be told. I'm going to go hard into Como. Hopefully he doesn't knock, but I wouldn't be shocked if he does. He goes for Iron Head, which is the best case scenario for me. I'm now going to predict him to switch out and go for an Earthquake. Um, hopefully Weezing, but Dragonfold also can be caught here. He's gonna go Hippo instead, that's fine by me. Um, just gonna go Mandibuzz. I don't mind. Um, well, actually, Mandibuzz is kinda fucked by Bisharp. It's the awkward part of this game, unfortunately. So I'm actually gonna go for Body Press here. As he goes for Slack Off. Locking into Slack Off is not a good play for him. As now I can force damage on something else. He's gonna go Pharaoh on the Earthquake, good play, but. I'm gonna go for a taunt. You know, I'm gonna go for body press here. I think he might stay in and risk this. He's gonna go drag pull though. Okay. If he gets around that, that's fine. Um, we got mandibles here. I have to risk it, unfortunately. He goes for the hex. Okay. Now I'm actually gonna go for the foul play here. Actually, no. I'm gonna go for the. I'm going for the foul play. He's gonna go Bisharp, and that's actually okay. Um, now I'm gonna go hard combo. Um, Iron Head might do like 30-ish net. Um, we'll wait and see. All right, that's a nice, that's a nice play there from him. I'm gonna go for Earthquake here again, trying to chip the Dragon Bolt or Weezing, knowing that it's in Earthquake range, and I'm faster than it. Um, I don't know if he knows that. He goes to Powdown, which actually really sucks for me. 
because now I'm losing leftovers. I'm going to have to pass a wish to this combo. So we're going to get Clefable here, knowing full well that he can take an Earthquake comfortably. Yeah, he's only loses 27%. I'm going to wish here. He goes Weezing, which is a pain in my ass. Um, I don't really have a switch here. I guess I'll go Jirachi. I don't think he's going to Wisp. He goes for Strange Team, which confuses me. I'm going to wish with this. Hopefully he doesn't risk the Iron Head. That would be a real bonehead to play. I get the wish off, and now I'm going to kill up combo. I'm not going to risk Confusion shit or Protect. I'm just going to go hard combo. Not delightful. I don't mind those spikes at all. There's a little more chip on Bishop, but you're going to actually be in a great spot. Um, I'm just going to body press here, predicting... I was going to say predicting that um, Hippo will do more damage. He's actually going to be Rocky Helmet and Leech. That's really bad. Um, I'm going to go to my own Dragapult now. No way he stays. He goes Hippo. And this allows for me to get a free will of buff, which can go a long way. It hits everything on his entire team. In addition to that, none of them really feel too safe defensively, especially seeing as this is tricked and that Bishop is weakened. He is going to go for an Earthquake that's actually going to crit, which is quite unfortunate. Um, I'm going to U-turn here. Don't go Pharaoh. No one goes Pharaoh. Okay. Yep, you turn there. Um, and I'm going to foul play again, expecting Bishop. And he's taking damage from Burn now, which is really great, as he's going to have to recover at some point. All right. Now I get that foul play off, so he's not able to kill me. He's going to have to like, try and fish for a flinch or something. Um, don't flinch. And he doesn't flinch, which is delightful, as I should be able to defog now. Um, he might go extra drill, however, which would be lame. There goes Weezing. Um, don't think Strange Steam would do much. I'm just going to defog here. Yeah, only just 38. So I'm actually going to roost this off for as long as I can. Um, of course, without risking the life of my Mandibuzz. And crit wouldn't even kill after the roost, as you see. Yeah, I'm not really sure how Strange Team works. It's just a chance to confuse. Um, yeah, it's only 20. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to keep going. It's basically like Moonblast, but with 5 less power, 10% less second chance, and instead of special attack drop, it's, um, wait, it looks weird. Is it physical or special? Whatever. I, I don't know. I've never actually faced this Pokemon besides when you tested it. I just, just don't need it. It's not good. Super niche. Anyway, we're going to roost here. You, you turn here. We're going to go pack. I think you might change it up in your Wisp. Yep. Okay, that worked out perfectly. Now, I'm going to expect the Pharaoh to come on in. I'm going to actually double the coma. I think it's worth it. I really want to scald, actually. Or knock the helmet. Or knock the helmet. We'll knock. Yeah, knock is safe. Yeah, and that's perfect. Okay. We're just scald here. I think he might leech. And I don't mind spikes as much as anything else. Okay, he's going to leech, but he's going to miss, which should be another chance to just do the same thing, because why not? Yeah, and I'm going to burn there, and he's going to get clipped. This means that I can go to Clefable pretty comfortably. And um, from here, I'm going to actually teleport, predicting, oh, that wasn't the best teleport in hindsight, but that's fine, mainly because this also has Wish on it. Um, I, there are like three or four things I want to heal up, honestly. And anyway, I'm going to take this out with you, turn, and now. You can help. Comma. Yeah, that's perfect. Because now the drill is in check. I would have liked to go Mandibuzz, get Fog off. And honestly, though, is he even able to live a hit? Like, I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to go Mandy. And I could just roost. Like, nothing really hurts to Mandy. He's going to Wisp here, almost undoubtedly, which is fine. I don't know why he's doing that, but I'm going to get my rid of the spikes now. 
since its only hazards is at least choice locked. Oh, and he crits at the worst time. Um, that's okay, because I should be able to take this out with Iron Head. Um, he might just... Okay, that's that works too. And actually, that gives me momentum to just do this. And you turn out here. And now I get leftovers with the Dragapult. And I force his Dragapult in. Which actually is a real big problem. I'm not sure why he's going this. But we're actually going to just hex him. Take that out. Okay. Maybe he's going to drill first. I just need to not get hexed here. Alright, he's actually just going to go for that. And that's fine. Um, I'm going to go for Earthquake, predicting the Dragapult. Yeah, I won't be able to kill this, but it, after life orb damage, will do enough trip to where another hit. Don't flinch. Yeah, see, after like two more life orbs, and that's what it needs to kill me, so. What I'm actually going to do is going to go for rocks here. Yup. And now I can go clef, protect on up. Um... Yeah, no Jirachi. Yup. Yeah, okay, and this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna keep protecting here. That's just 12 PP. How much recover do I have left? 14, so I can also do that if I absolutely need to. I think I should live this though. Yeah, only just, oh, okay, that, yeah, I was gonna say, unless they crit me there, that's just the play. I could have done for another leftover storm, but I think it would have still been in crit range. And he's not spell tag, so yeah. Um, no, I'm definitely not in crit range, unless it's like a min max situation. Yeah, that 50 is a lot. Okay, it would have been in crit range. So yeah, it is min max situation, but now I won't be. Because I'm getting the two lefties turns, which neutralizes the hex damage at out damage, slash neutralizes the recover damage. You know what I mean? Basically, 54? Wait, is this metronome? What? How did he go from 47 to 54? Holy cow. Oh, and he's flamethrower. Okay. Nice play out of preserved PP there. But I'm just going to keep protecting after the wishes. Um, there's no point in risking. Hmm. Um, he's outside of Moonblaster. I'm just going to keep wishing, yeah. Sorry, I just need to look through a tag at Discord. It's like so hectic because like, a lot of people are playing um, Pokemon now. Like All of a sudden, we're seeing a little spike in interest slash activity. So with more people comes more problems, you know. Is it three hacks? Um, I just seem to not with not hex on one. Okay, and I see at this point now I'm actually just gonna go to hex here. And I'm gonna knock it off. And the only way you can damage me is with a hex or a Drake, which is a minus two. And that knockoff means that I can eventually just chip him down. And yeah, see, I don't mind. Waste all of your hexes on me, please. I insist. Like, yeah, you can take me out, that is fine. Because you can't actually Draco into club. Yeah, see, that's a f kill I'm fine taking. Because now I'm going to protect here, and I'm going to be out of Hex crit range. He's not going to click Hex here. He's like slamming up, and now he's going to Hex. But even if he crits, it needs an absolute like, max roll, and then may maybe even more. You see, because that wouldn't have, wouldn't have killed. So, yeah. Now all he can do is slam throw me. Or Draco, but I'm immune to Draco. That's why I preserve this over Pax. So this was a really nice to play game for me. After I didn't position myself too well against the dragon pull with the statuses and whatnot. And after the knock damage, I'll take him out with Moonblast. It's going to be a good game. Um, I actually really liked how I played this one. Um, so I'm getting some mileage out of the Jirachi um, to pivoting around. I did let get a bit loose against the dragon pull in the mid game, but it ended up working out ultimately, so that's fine. Um, we should be 32 and 3 now. Uh, okay, only said one, please, stuff.
I'm just gonna pause, make sure, and see if my last video is uploaded or not. One second. Yeah, it is. All right, just make sure it just uploaded because I kind of had to not use my computer when I was packing because I was kept getting sidetracked. So you'll probably see that now, but I actually recorded it at like 1 p.m. ish this afternoon. Well, we're over 1600 now, as are our opponents, which is cool. Let's see if he's a GXC above 70. That would be dope. Oh god, he's got a bunch of tears. Oh no, oh, but he's just he's pretty low. Wow. Two thousand battles. Ooh, boy. Alright, you and I alike, buddy. Who needs another hobby? Pokemon away. He's gonna get the lead right. I'm just gonna go clef. Worst case scenario he wisps. Ugh. Uh, okay, yeah, sorry. He U-turns right in the conk. It leads me to believe that he's probably going to be going to Aegis last year. He's trying to get the orb up. He actually did that with, with the Fable. So I'm going to go Drachi here. And now I'm going to get my trick off as quick as I can. As Roscoe's pimping me on Discord. It's my boy. All right, and that's perfect trick. Yeah, okay, sorry, I was just done responding to PM. So now I can focus on this again. I'm sorry. I, I, I know it's unprofessional, but when you record for so long, it's hard to stay 100% on focus, especially when you're only playing a game at a time, ladder slow. But yes, yeah, so that's an ideal trick, because now he's going to rock here, which means I get my rock. So the best he can do is just trade with me, especially considering that, like, I have these Pokemon that don't mind it offensively at all. Like, this can get burnt, but Clef can't really. The worst he can do is knock, and locking into knock with Sasuke Toad is not great. Now, this is a threat, this Braviary, but now that I have leftovers on Jirachi and Wish on Jirachi that I can use accessibly, I feel a lot less fearful. I'm actually going to go to it here, and he's going to do 25% with a Brave Bird, but he's going to reveal himself not to leftovers. He's probably heavy duty boost with Bulk Up or a Choice Scarf Variant, Defiant Double against Sea Fog. He's going to go for Shadow Claw there, which does a ton with a crit, though. It might be super luck. No, that, that doesn't get this. Okay, I'm actually just going to go for Iron at the Flesh Sword here. I don't want to risk anything, but that's a really unfortunate crit there. Um, please flinch. Okay, this is a big problem now. Because this guy's a lucky piece of shit. Um, we're in for a long battle here. I'm going to whisk probably into Clef. Um, it's fine. It can't, be, it can't be Thunderbolt. If it's Thunderbolt, I lose now. Fuck. Let me think here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go Pax. Moonblast is 13, and he's leftovers. Uh, knocking isn't ideal because of the size of a toad situation. But what I can do is go to my own clef here and see if this is Wish. If this is Wish, then knocking size with does make a big deal because the rock chip on it isn't huge. All it is is a matter of switching switching moves, and it can't really threaten me offensively anyway. So basically, that's case I just wasted Jirachi. He's Wish, okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to teleport. Because I'm slower, I'll teleport too. <sighs> Um, the game plan here is probably going to be stalling Wish PP. I don't want to risk this being toxic, because that's a lose condition. So I'm going to go hard Pex, which is dumb conservative, because this is a mandible versus Nature Slash. But I need all this information. I think I can pull this game back, but we're going to have to play a bit timely conservative and timely aggressive.
Um, I think now I want to say I've conditioned him to not risk. No, I need to do another cycle of that. Uh, he wished again. That's another wish PP. That's great. He doesn't have anything to heal up either. Besides Braviary. Oh, fuck. I'll teleport to see Brian goes Braviary. And it's a Boots Braviary. Okay. I'm actually going to want to see how much foul play does. Um, I'm still paranoid of being like sub, even if it did reveal Shadow Claw. I'm pretty sure Peck should be fine, but Braviary, I don't need it full health right now. So I'm just going to go for foul play. It should do around half. Yeah, I think this is the play. Pex would have been fine, but the issue with Pex is that I'm just paranoid about clicking knock into size but toad still. Um, yeah, I need to cleft knock, so that's got to be priority one here. He's probably going to go conk. I don't like the fact that he has something to automatically, like, force break through, and I don't. I'm going to cover off whatever he goes for here. Not all of them carry Earthquake right now. In Facade, he's not going to out-damage Recover plus Sludge by a ton. Knock would be lame, though. He's going to go for facade, so yeah, as we see. And now I think he's probably going to knock. Um, this is hard. I guess I got to go coma. And he knocked. Okay. Now I'm just going to Earthquake. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this game, honestly. He Braviaried. Wow. I, I'm going Pex now, just because I'm pretty sure it's safe against this, in fact. I can't still pass Witches to this, so that knock timing was good. If he gets a crit against me here, then it's over. That's for sure. Can't believe he dodged a flinch. And crit to Shadow Claw. That was a quite unfortunate sequence. Having a second Wisher that could come in against his Clefable and Force out repeatedly would have been so fantastic. It also would have resisted Facade without um, being as necessary as Dragapult is offensively in this game. Okay, so he's giving me the knock here. He hasn't respected it twice now. So I'm going to assume he's just officially not respecting knock. Yeah, okay, so I get the knock off. That's great. And seeing his size puts out so high, I'm just going to start squalding into this to force it to use more wishes. That's a third wish. And he's teleporting here, so... I'm going to, I think he's knocking here, so I'm going to Scald. Right, he's going back to Clef, which is bizarre, but I'm going to go to my own Clef now. I prefer being on the back foot with my own Clef than to his, um, than my own Pex, because it, it's less, um, a bit less volatile, if you will, against um, the assault from the Conqueror. Uh, I'm just going to Moonblast. Yeah, I want to get some damage. I just need to force the Wishes as quickly as I can. He's also using a lot of Teleport, but I don't think that PP is going to apply. The big number is a 12 Wish number. Can I outlast his team? 
through that. Um, I'm going to be okay with the protect here, but I just want to see these bands or specs. I don't want to actually use protects too liberally in this game myself. I don't think. And when you're this far behind, which I feel like I mean, you really spent a ton of thought in each turn. Um, all right, I'm going to go back for the Moonblast. Um, he hasn't revealed if he's protected yet, but I'm almost sure he is. There's a wish. Okay. I'm going to teleport here because I'm slower. If he teleports, he's probably going to Moonblast. And now what I'm going to do is he's going to probably try and go teleport himself here. So I'm just going to go back to Clef and get that leftovers. And he's basically wasted 2 PP. And all I've done is teleport and pivot back. Yeah, okay. And now I get leftovers here. And he used a fifth wish. Uh, he went conk, which I am just going to Moonblast. Don't kill. Don't crit. Okay, yeah, and I could heal this up. I could make it. I could get this healthy again. That actually is worthwhile for me, I think. I just need to stack for tax, pretty much. I need to plan my turns out really wisely. Um, force U-turns. Um, yeah, and I could get this into range. So first off, what is the Aegis Lash set? We'll find out on this turn. Sword Stance is probably best case, assuming it's not plus speed. Plus speed Sword Stance might be worst case. Okay, it is gonna be Sword Stance. So I'm gonna go Mandibuzz and hopefully it's not plus speed. If it's plus speed, then I'll get a pile. I don't like this music. All right, we got an advertisement on, so I'm pausing until it ends. But he stayed in, and I foul played and killed it. Yeah, okay, we got the music back. But what was looking like a really methodical, long, drawn-out game that I was looking forward to, he just kind of tossed away over the last four or so turns. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go for a strategy. I'm going to say good game in the chat and see if he forfeits. <laughs> we did I actually we forfeited pretty quickly after I said good game. I don't know. We'll take it, though. Um, all right, so we're 32 and 3 coming into this. Um, but now we're 33 and 3. That should be good. So we're going to need four more games. Um, let's see if the ranking has updated. We're going to get this tour call for whatever reason on a non-sun team. So this, it can't, it can't, I don't have too high hopes. He's 1648, which is like the highest rank of the opponent we've played so far. 71-3, okay, so he's decent, I guess. Um, that is an annoying matchup, Tokyo's plus like trio. We're actually Lee Clef. Don't be T-Wave. If you're T-Wave, I'm going to be mad. This is going to be real hard. Oh, yeah, so we're 84-2 now, so we can't afford to lose this. And 1-2, oh, bad, bad, bad. All right, so we're going to go and U-turn here, and hopefully he's bad and goes to Trio, but he's not. He's going to go Drachi. I'm going to go Kamo. I'm going to go for Rocks. He's going to miss that headbutt. Good, fuck you. My thoughts. He's going to Torkoal here, and it's Heavy Duty Bridge Torkoal. Um... I'm going to U-turn. He's probably going to rock. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to Wisp predicting... Who does that? This guy does that? No, he's not staying in here. There's no way. Yeah, I get the toe kiss. That's great. And I think I just have to hex through it. Like, honestly. And he doesn't really have a switch here, so I'm just going to hex again. And yeah, okay, so we took out the toe kiss, so that's great. 
This is almost definitely Scarf Hydra again. But, yeah, I want it to stand bad, but also, like, I can heal it up. So, this is a um, toxic variant. So, we're going to go Pex. And he didn't even mind a knock or anything. He was just going to, okay. This is a weird, weirdly played game right off the bat. But this guy seems to think he knows what he's doing. So he's King Shield, but he just didn't use it. This guy's just not good. Okay. I'm going to go a hard combo here. And I'm going to taunt him on the Toxic. Yeah, so you could go fuck yourself there. And now he's switching to this actually, like, really limited. So I'm going to Body Press predicting the switch. No? Okay, that's fine. Now I'm just going to taunt. Um, he probably can go out Draken. With the Tokus dead, the combo actually looks like really threatening against him, which is great. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I'm just gonna earthquake here. He can't really do anything. Like yeah, and now he's also in his formation. I really think he's gonna go high dragon here. Okay, I mean, I don't mind. I'm not taking any damage. I am not at risk here. Like, I'm just gonna earthquake you now. Okay. Now he goes to okay Torpo of all things. Kind of weird. Um, I'm just gonna wrap this bread. And now I'm just gonna fire off a Draco. And yeah, that kills him. Which, okay. Hmm. Uh, just trying to think here. This isn't Rock Surge, by the way. I think I'm in pretty good shape at this point. Yeah, I, I was looking bleak at preview in that initial sequence, but now I'm pretty happy. He's going to stay in and try and kill me. U-turn doesn't kill, so... Oh my god, that was... That was a bad U-turn. But it's fine, we'll take it. Um, I'm just gonna go Dragapult. Yeah, like... And now I'm gonna go to Drachi. And now I'm just gonna... U-turn. I'm gonna foul play here. Is it going to mind if this takes a Toxic? No. <laughs> Predicting the combo, yeah. It's fine, you can trap me all you want. Because you can't really win. And it didn't even kill, oh my god, did 48. Wow, that was kind of bad. 37 is definitely... Hmm. I don't know. I'm locked. So I'm just going to go my Drachi. You turn here. You turn here. You turn here. You turn here. Die here. And now, just can't flinch out of left over his defensive combo. I get roost here. Okay. Here comes. Foul play here. Foul play. Oh, we connected. Wow, look at that. The magic. All right. Good game. He needed ridiculous odds to win that. And he didn't get them at the end. He got them in the middle. It's great. Yep. yep. Three games away. I think I could honestly lose out and still make it. But we're going to try and win them to get the 37-3. Why the hell not? We're against... G Dove using a weird hyper offensive team that will 
get crushed by my mammoth slime. That's fine. Probably lead Grimmsnarl. He does have a rocker, which is bizarre. Anyway, um, we lose with Cloth. Okay, so it's rocks to sharp, so that means that we're just going to trip. Sir? Was that knock really worth it? I guess so. I mean, seeing it's not swords anything. It might be a chopper berry as well, or sash. So fair. You know Mandibus here, but it might be physical. Steel wing with life orb. Ah, yes. It's just over half. Holy shit. I'm going to foul play now. The comp oh, that was a nice catch. Okay. Um, I'm going to foul play again. He knocked. Okay. I'm going to foul play one more time. Sure. It's close combat. Okay. So anyway, um, the ranking's still not updated. It should be now. Yeah, we're almost at 85 GXC. We're, we're, we're in the clear at this point. Nickel packs. Seems pretty safe. I'm just going to spam knock. Whatever comes in here. And I don't mind being knocked off here. I'm kind of scared of a Swords Dance variant, though. So I'm going to switch here. Now he's just been knocking. Earthquake gets everything, so I'm just gonna go for Quake. Yep. Oh, okay. This can't really threaten me. We're just gonna stall Parallel PP a little bit. He can't. He's not gonna use it here. He's gonna preserve. PP. Oh, just kidding. He is. All right, so then we will protect just a little bit. And there goes only two left. It's fine. And there go all pyro ball. Okay, now what? <laughs> okay. Sure. Well played. Give me the combo. Okay, sure. I like the cleft. This can be Endeavor or some shit. Does it even learn Endeavor? I don't think so. I'm, I'm wishing. I'm not breaking it. Chance. Yeah, okay, that works. For some of this in the 1700s, I'm not too fond of this guy's uh, approach. That just does a ton. Not too fond of that damage myself. In fact, I'm going to protect here. Now I'm going to go Pax. I'm going to create that slam. Now I'm going to go Como. Another crit. Okay. Chill. Now I'm going to trick the Grimmsnarl. I do not trust this. Yup. Perfect. I'm going to wish. And now I can heal up the Clef. And that's game. Alright. Two more. And again, it's definitely clinched at this point. Um, but I am going to get all 40, of course. We're not going to just forfeit for the last two, because fuck that. Ooh, I love this music. It's, it's the route to Snow Point. DBP, I'm actually probably going to play DBP now. I have all this free time and nostalgia, you know what? Hell not. Uh, Will I am two is the opponent. I'm at um, I have very little battery left. Fuck. Um, we're gonna brighten this down. One second. All right, this should preserve some battery life, hopefully. Um, I don't know if I, I might have to stop after this battle though. Fuck. Um. All right, we're gonna grind through straight. Um. This can't kill in one shot, so we're gonna actually just body press. You know, Nicholas, uh, he can't hold on to shots, so I'll take my rocks. He's gonna go back, okay, sure, right back to you. Don't call for the flinch. You know you don't deserve the flinch. You know you don't deserve that flinch. You really don't. You really, really don't deserve that flinch, man. Okay, sure.
Why is this helmet? I'm gonna taunt on your taunt. Yeah, fuck you. You can't taunt me, bitch. That's right. Look who you're playing. <laughs> um, he's going for you, turn almost definitely. So I'm gonna go Clef. You Draco. You got no fair resist. True. Okay. I don't know what the fuck this team is. This is in some weird way, I'm shit. You took rocks? Hello? You did a lot with thunder. That was psychic shit. Is this like regenerator? What the fuck am I playing? Alright, now he goes Mamo. I'm gonna scout the movie box. It's like in the ice cream crash, I can go packs. Um, and I'm gonna knock whatever the fuck the Rear Nicholas is off, I guess. Well, that was not how I hoped this would go, but now that means I live in Earthquake. And he goes for Ice Crash, and now he's gonna go for Earthquake the Mandibuzz. And then we'll crash again. Alright, well played. I got played. Yeah, I got played pretty bad. That flinch sucked, that should have been dead. Now I'm gonna get my recovery at least. Let's chill. Hmm. I should just go packs and haze. I don't know why the fuck this is home, but I'm knocking it off because I don't like it. It's just, it's taunt, stupid taunt. If you ask me, I'm gonna rock. I don't think he's taunting here. I think he's switching the arena goes. A dragon, okay. No clap again. Nasty flat. Wait, what's his speed control? Hello? We'll go Drachi, it's fine. The flat's gonna get bounced. Now we will um trick it a scarf. Because that's what you deserve. Yeah, that's right. Get corrected. I right, need to stop talking now. Um, I'm going to go for the earthquake. What? Why are these the plays, sir? Now you flinch. Are you fucking kidding me? This guy's so bad. Don't flinch this, too. I am frustrated. This is a frustrating game against a guy who really just isn't playing well. Alright, well, he's gonna switch here, I'd assume. Like, this is a pretty con. He can't really break me. That is good. You just can only do that with Rear Nicholas, I guess. But I did lose Jirachi because I had to trick this. It's fine. Um. Yeah, okay, he didn't touch that, which is good. He's running out of Dark Pulse kind of slowly. And Moonblast this time. Yeah, okay. And it's enough health to live like it for Mammo or Mimikyu or whatever it might be. Cock. Well. And if you're going to let me heal up my combo, then sure. He's going to probably taunt here. No, he went Rear Nicholas and this Regenerator. So I'm just going to go Dragapult. I'm going to I'm gonna go Dragapult. He went Mandibuzz, which... Fine with me. I'm going to taunt. No, I'm going to rock. I'm going to rock. Foul play made no sense, ever. And if you want to die, that's totally chill. I really want to drag a hold there, but I didn't have the balls to pull it off. Went back to Mandibuzz. Okay, that's chill. But like now you're like you pay attention to what you just did. Now you died to rocks after that taunt, sir. Yeah, goes. I'm gonna go Clef, and I'm gonna teleport. 
Oh. That crit sucked. Real bad. We're just gonna um wisp here. Okay. Um, 